Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This video I chose because it should be interesting. It's interesting to me. I'm curious. This is a very famous father. His last name will sound so familiar to you. Mr. Robert Kardashian. Now, he comes from a very well-known family here in the United States. Some of you, I know, will have some strong opinions about that particular family. I wanna connect with Robert Kardashian as a father. I wanna to connect to him as a dad. Now, I know he's known for some other things as well, like being an attorney, a well-known attorney, in some very high-profile cases. Today's video channeling is going to be with him about his family. So let's begin. I also should say that I recognize that channeling Robert Kardashian Sr. in the afterlife could be sticky. In fact, this might be the first video that I ever have that a famous family would come after me maybe even. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Just a little bit. <laughs> Truly, I will share with you first my biases about the Kardashian-Jenner family. Now, I don't have any kind of problem with any of the Kardashians and or the Jenners either, because although they are like reality TV show stars and they are um, highly um, photographed and uh, reported upon and and just really big in social media and have multiple businesses and all that, and they've been really criticized, I feel like that's not fair and. I recognize each of them as individuals, as contributors, as active participants in their own life, and they are co-creators, like they are making the most of their circumstances and situations. So take recently, so you can tell, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of the Kardashians, but I'm not a, a foe either. I respect people who are have initiative, who are intel intelligent, and who, clearly have created brands and been successful in business. Now, always successful? No, but there are tons of other businesses that are not always successful either. And other brands that go through iterations that are not always successful either. So because they live their life under a microscope, I feel like they have much more unfair judgment placed upon them. Now, I understand there's a lot of questionable stuff that might um, shake up your own value system about that. But I feel like I am fine with them. I don't have a problem with them. And so I just want to be clear on that. But this, <laughs> so this video is very, is going to be done, of course, like my, all of my channeling videos, very respectfully. And I want, I just want to talk to him as a dad because his daughter, Kim, especially Kim Kardashian West, she has started to take the steps to becoming an attorney, to following in her father's footsteps. So I want to talk with dad, Robert Kardashian Sr. about that and kind of get some insight about that and hopefully some motivation or inspiration because I think it's really important for us to see Hollywood types and reality TV show stars and people who are musicians and performers and who seem so out of our own reach and so not like normal people that I think it's important for us to see these folks like normal people, like family. They have, they have, you know, they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner just like everybody else. They have family gatherings they have to attend just like everybody else. They have to, you know, maintain relationships with their siblings and their parents and their children. And it's not, and they have to do that in the public eye, which, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine opens them up to so much judgment and criticism and I mean, it really, I can't even imagine. So let's talk to Robert Kardashian Sr. Thank you for coming, I appreciate it. He's very formal, he's got like a sports coat on, um, a white shirt underneath, they always wear white. He says, always a white shirt, a white shirt, a crisp white shirt, he says. But you don't have to button it all the way up and you don't have to wear a tie, but if you wear a crisp white shirt, he says it shows um, an aura of professionalism, he says. And he shows me his son right away, Robert Kardashian. Um, he shows me his son. And so his son, Rob, he's showing me. And so, um, 
And he's saying, Robert Kardashian Sr. is saying, I wish I could have been around longer. I wish I could have been more active and part of his life in particular as he got older. And he says, I wish I could have been around to see all my beautiful grandchildren. And he said, there's, a, there's just, you guys, there's a, such a sense of pride, a heartfelt sense of pride. And he says, thank you. You know, he's like, thank you for, for inviting me for the opportunity to, to talk. And I'm like, well, good. Let's make sure your family doesn't sue me for this video. <laughs> okay. We're doing it respectfully, of course. So let's talk about Kim because she's the one that's really in the public eye right now because of you, her dad. Like she's following in your footsteps and taking the steps to become a lawyer in the state of California. And that's a ton of work. How do you feel about that as an afterlife dad looking down upon that experience with Kim Kardashian West? He says, you know, I, I told my, I've always told my children they could be anything they wanted to be, anything they set their mind to. He says, Kim in particular was very headstrong, <laughs> very strong-willed as a child. And I knew that she would always be okay. You know, I knew that she would always make out all right in this world because of that, because of that strength, you know, and her personality. And he said, she's also very caring. She has a very big heart and she's, she's genuine, more genuine. He says, <laughs> perhaps more than your viewers. He actually said readers. Your viewers would um, be able to uh, tolerate for that word. That word is something your viewers may have, uh, may find a fault with. But she is, she's very sincere and um, has a big heart and he says, and if she sets her mind to it, she can, she, I know, there's no doubt in my mind, which is kind of funny. He said, she, free will. He said, she can do it. She can do it. He says, I, you know, I suspect it'll be difficult. There'll be times when she'll have to take breaks because of the challenges of, you know, raising a family. She has a young family and um, that family is very important to her, he says, and she will want to take care of her children. She will not want her children to suffer or have less than a childhood because of that. And I believe that she'll make good choices, positive choices because of that. So that might cause her to have to take a break in her studying. And it might take her longer to get through the uh, law training, the attorney training than others maybe would, um, would foresee. But of course, she'll be criticized for that. And that's just something that's accepted in our family. And it's not acceptable, but it's accepted. And he says, you know, at the time that I was doing the OJ trial, there were death threats. There were times when we had to have security with the kids and that sort of level of um, fame that comes from something to no fault of your own really was sort of a, he almost has a training ground or initiation, initiation isn't the right word, but it's almost like a, a um, education, uh, fast education in how to carry yourself in the world and how not to, really how not to listen to the, uh, it's almost like he's saying ambient noise of others whose opinions truly do not matter and do not have to have an impact on your particular life. Oh, everyone has an opinion and likes to get, offer advisement and judgment, of course. And he says, Bridget, in your word, a judgment, but it, everyone likes to offer advisement. Everyone thinks they know um, you and your life, but they do not. They don't because they're not living your life. So they, no one else can really understand, even, even your family or extended family, people cannot really understand. It's that whole concept of putting yourself in that person's shoes and you can't really do that. It's just not possible to do that. And to live through that time for my children, it really created a toughness about them to understand their own identity, the importance of the family and the family unit and how to carry themselves through the world where in that excess noise around you doesn't distract you from your goals and what you know that is best for you and right for you and important for you. And that doesn't mean 
Now remember, we're talking to Robert Kardashian, senior here in the afterlife. And he says, that doesn't mean that you're not going to make mistakes. There will be many mistakes that are made. And it's the, the way that you correct those, the way that you reset yourself. And it's not even about overcoming obstacles, it's about having an, such an awareness of yourself and such a strong connection. And he's saying like, it feels like confidence, but I can't, there's a different word he's using that I'm not sure what it is. I can't quite get it. It's like a, almost like a, um, it's like a strength, the confidence and a sophistication put together as one. And he's, okay. <laughs> He's also showing that um, his relationship with Chris, um, even as divorced parents, that they co-parented and they had you know, disagreements, of course, because that's what happens when you're divorced. That's why you're not remarried. And he's giving them the impression that he was remarried and had another wife. And um, that he's not gonna talk about like um, their relationships, like any, you know affairs or anything like that he's not gonna talk about any of that he doesn't he's like more classy than that and the that might not be well known i feel like he died of cancer so that's what i feel like there's some kind of a underlying disease or illness ailment or condition that led to his ultimate death and i don't know what it is because i i don't know that i don't remember that um and so there's so much about you though too that, um, you know, uh, again, more judgment, criticism about being a lawyer and def the people that you've defended, you know, and what I kind of get the vibe from you, Robert, uh, Mr. Kardashian, that you, you have an integrity about you that I don't think people saw or know or really understand unless they were with you in your social circles and your family and your friend group that you really, it wasn't about like working the system or manipulating the facts. It was really about giving people every opportunity for, and he uses the word redemption. Redemption, that's fascinating. Is that a word for you? And he says, in defense of myself, an opportunity for redemption, not in the eyes of my children or my wife or or even in the public in my career, but for myself to really feel like I, and he says, the best thing that I gave to the, earth, to the world, like my legacy uh, for many may be um, the, the major publicity and the public trials that I was involved in. However, he says, my legacy is my children, is my family and look at them. They are successful, they are happy, as long as they are fulfilled. And then he all of a sudden makes me feel like Chloe. He also says, I'm very proud of you, Chloe. He says, I'm very proud of you, my daughter, he says, Chloe. And, and he says, beautiful, she has a beautiful daughter, a beautiful little girl, and just such a ray of sunshine. And he says, just like Chloe, just these beautiful eyes, these big eyes, like he sh she's saying like in Chloe's eyes, like she had so much, she was always such a thinker. And he says, she would get so mad and she would just shake her hands. And when she was little, just so mad because like the world didn't understand her kind of a thing, or we didn't understand her. She was, she was always so passionate. And she just had such a, he says, a beautiful spirit, Chloe Kardashian, that's lovely. And he says, I love all my kids. I love all my kids. But I know that um, right now these two are the ones that, um, and actually he mentioned Rob as well. He says, um, are the ones that I would make sure that, make sure that we spoke about in this conversation. Well, thank you very much, Ro Robert Kardashian Sr. I appreciate your time. I um, respect your family because it takes a lot to be, put yourself out in there again and again and again and to make mistakes and maybe back products that aren't fabulous. And you know, you make some errors when you're, you know, strategy wise and things and it happens, but it's not because people are bad or greedy. It's because they maybe don't know, you know? And when they know, then they do better and they change. And, and there's some really, 
really, um, there's a lot of power and empowerment that comes through watching that, seeing that unfold and how people correct. And your family, your kids, especially those girls, man, it really is, it takes a lot of guts to live their lives out here so publicly and to um, not have that kind of privacy and to raise their kids and their families. I mean, it's just, I, they, it takes a lot of strength, I think, to do that. So you've definitely raised some strong kids. So you should definitely be proud of that as well. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. This was interesting for me, you guys, and I wanted to talk to him because I was curious about, I like to follow stuff. You guys probably don't even know that, right? Well, I like to, when I'm walking on the treadmill or when I've had like a long day and I just need a distraction, instead of just turning on Netflix, I will um, listen or watch some Hollywood news stuff, you know, stuff about current Hollywood people. And not a lot, I have just a couple of um, vloggers that I'll follow. Um, and some, oh, I have one old school, <laughs> one that I follow, and one kind of newer one. And it talks about, you know, the celebrities now, like Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin Bieber, and um, just all this, all, you know, Ariana Grande and, you know, Britney Spears and just, uh, not just musicians, but actors, actresses, the Kardashians, reality TV show stuff, I mean, movie film stars and things. And I started getting more into that after all of my channeling with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. And I've always kind of enjoyed that. Like when I get on an airplane, I grab a People magazine and um, I'll, I'll read that and that kind of thing. Cause I just, it's interesting. The Hollywood stuff is just so interesting to me. And so now I think since I've been doing the Freddie Mercury stuff, probably since like, gosh, November last year, I've been really more aware of the Hollywood scene. Um, and so I follow a few vloggers on YouTube and I'm really enjoying that. And so the Car Robert Kardashian just popped up and I recognize that I try to stay away from conspiracy theory stuff and stuff that's dramatic or drama related. And I know that he's kind of, uh, his family too has that, but is it really their fault? Or is it our fault as a society, the drama stuff, right? And so I like to bring forward the personal side, the human side, which is kind of ironic, talking to a spirit in the afterlife, bringing forward the human side. I think it's important to remember that celebrities who are here now, living the life, I know that there can be this opinion, this common or widespread view that, well, they deserve, you know, they uh, almost like feeling of the public feels entitled to them. And like, well, they just, you know, they wanted to be famous. And I think there's an assumption that is made when people are musicians or entertainers and performers or, you know, in Hollywood, in the movies, actors, actresses, whatever, that they want that attention. They want to be famous. That's what they want. And that's not necessarily true. In fact, I bet at least half of the time it's not. If people could do the work that they love and be creative and be actors and actresses and musicians and singers and performers without, and you know, make a good living and be happy just doing the, sharing their gifts and doing what they love without all this excess, you know, frenzy of people like stalking them, breaking into their houses, taking pictures, saying really horrible, mean things, judging their parenting and all that stuff on social media and, just judging them and comparing them to other people. I, I would never choose that. I would never choose that. And so these uh, celebrities aren't all in it for the pub publicity and attention and popularity. I'm sure that gets real old real fast. And so I kind of feel like I'm a little fired up about this, as you can tell. So I wanted to share this because I think it's important and I'm sure the comments will be very colorful <laughs> as well. But hey, this is Bridget at Above Life Channel and you know that you can expect some interesting, inspiring energy to come through on my videos and from the channeling that I offer and share with you. Because the purpose is to inspire your spirit and to give you hope for your life as a human being because this is your life. This is your life, my friend. So go live it. Don't listen to all that noise and judgment and criticism or be afraid of other people. Don't let strangers or random people on social media judge you and your choices and your decisions. Don't let them change what you know is best for you and right for you. They are gonna be 
whoever they need to be. Don't let them change who you are just by a comment or a criticism or a judgment. Strangers don't have the right to do that. They don't know you. They can comment and you just ignore it. That's just noise, 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 noise. Ignore it because they don't know, but you do. You do. Trust yourself and live your life inspired and hopeful. Thank you so much for watching.